Hello everybody, this is Steve from Old Boy Moto. Well good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. And uh, the weather's picked up and I thought I'd get out here and get the bike ready. I'm going to head out to my favourite spot out in the Woolshed Valley. I'm taking the metal detector out with me today. And I'm going to be combing over an area where I think I might pick something up. Um, I had been out there before and I did find some old nails which were very, very interesting, which uh, kind of pointed me to the right direction. Um, there may have been some sort of um, reticence or something there at one stage. So I'm very interested in that. Uh, weather's warming up quite quickly now, so we're in about the third week of uh, spring and uh, surprisingly um, how warm it is. It's uh, up around 20 to 25 degrees already, which is proving to be quite a warm spring. So gonna have to watch my step out in the bush. Um, you know, all the uh, all those nasty things will be out sliding around and um, there's also some pretty big goannas out there and they can be uh, a little bit treacherous if you're standing still, they can climb up you and do so, all sorts of things. So gonna have to take care of myself out there. So, but anyway, chugger's nearly ready to go and come along with us and we'll see what we can find. I'm out in the um, Woolshed Valley again and I'm just about to set up my metal detector. I've got an idea that I'm in a pretty good location. Um, I did find some nails here last time. Actually in my last few videos you might have seen those. So I'm back here and I'm sniffing around and see if I can find something a little bit more valuable. I'm fairly confident I'm in the right spot. Uh, it's another beautiful day. Um, Chugger's going really well. I've got her all loaded up and ready to go. And uh, I'm ready to go myself. And just looking at this spot, I'm just standing on the edge of some private land. And I'm actually up pretty high. Way over there in the distance is Mount Buffalo. And that's the Victorian Alps uh, in that sort of um, hazy sort of view. So that's really nice. It's a beautiful view from up here. And just looking over this way, I can see probably Wangaratta. I think that's probably what that is down there. Um, in a beautiful spot here, and it's an absolute lovely day. I think it's about 20 degrees. And, uh, it's just beautiful. So, all right. So, I've uh, got the um, Mine Lab Equinox 900 packed away here. It'll take me a little while to set that up. And um, just over here in the bush, uh, I've picked up those nails and that's where I'm gonna be doing it out there. Um, just doing a bit of detecting in between all those trees and around there, especially in one spot where I um, dug up them nails. Right, uh, guys, hang around and we'll see what we turn up. Yeah, hey guys, I'm having a bit of a detect here and came across a couple of little, um, Indicators. I don't know what's in here. It might be just a bit of rubbish here. There we go. We've got something there. Don't know what that is. Uh, it's probably just an old bit of metal, I think. Yeah, yeah that's all that is. I don't know. No. Yeah, it's going like crazy. What's that? No. Anyway, there was something else in the hole here as well, so let's <coughs> see what we can find. There's something going on. God, God, it's a coin. Jeez, it's in good nick too. That's really in good nick. Oh, God, that's a bloody ripper. I'm going to risk it up. It's a one penny. How about that? That's a one penny. And it's got King George on the back. I don't want to rub that because that's very abrasive. Uh, just see if I can. Well, there you go. That's a 1913 penny. 
Australian Commonwealth and it's got King George on the back. I'll clean that up when I get home. I don't want to rub that because um, it's abrasive. Well, there you go. And here we are, basically. We're in the middle of the bush. Well, not in the middle of the bush, but, you know, we're not far off the track there. But I knew there'd have to be something around here. And there it is. Beautiful. Rarely wrapped in that. That's my first penny. Well, guys, I'm going to have a bit of a break now. I've been detecting for about an hour and a half and I've found a couple of things and uh, a couple of shells there that looks like a 303 and that looks like a 22 Magnum or something like that and then just a little 22 shell but that was a really good find I found a one penny it's a 1913 and it's got and it's cleaned up really well actually apart from a little scratch that I put on it probably with the shovel which is a bugger, it really is, when that happens. But uh, there's King George on the back. And they tell me these are made out of, um, I think they're made out of bronze. They're not actually copper, so... Um, yeah, that was a good little find. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll set up camp and have a bit of lunch and I'll go further down the track down here and um, see if I can find another spot that I've had my eye on. Have a bite to eat and then start detecting again. Yeah guys, so I've just picked a um, secluded spot here just off the track. Um, it's quite windy, uh, so I thought I'd try and find the um, most sheltered place. This seems to be it. So, um, just looking across there, and um, it'll be the place where I'm going to have a bit of a metal detect. I've spotted a couple of ancient uh, fruit trees. They look like fig trees. And they've just been planted out in the bush there. Uh, and I'm thinking that when they were planted, it wasn't bush. Um, it was probably somebody's backyard so I'm hoping that that might turn something up it's a fair walk though I'm about oh, 500 meters from it probably half a kilometer or more so um, but I'll pardon me I'm a little bit knocked up um, I'm gonna spend half an hour just having some nice lunch as I usually do and then get into it stick around guys I might find another penny or something better that was fantastic actually to find that. 